and we are back hello everyone welcome back to five minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks so without wasting any time let's get started so from now onwards i will be regular as well because i took a four days break i went on to a trip so yeah now i'm refreshed and more motivated so let's see today's problem which is pair sum in bht which is marked as a medium level problem let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given two parameters first one is a node root so this is a root node of a binary search tree and second one is a target of integer type okay all right and what we have to do we have to basically check if there exist exactly two nodes whose sum is equal to target if yes i will simply return true if there are no any combination of such two nodes whose sum is equal to target i will return false okay pretty simple it is and uh, yeah if you will see the number of nodes here so the number of nodes is 10 raised to the power 5 it means n square time complexity cannot run here we have to go less than it okay all right so first thing first if you know what is a bht if you don't know let me tell you so basically a binary search tree here it means like at any node you will check if i will take this seven node so all the elements in the left subtree of it will be uh, their data their value will be less than seven and all the elements on the right side of it its value will be greater than seven so this is what is bht same for three all the elements to the left subtree of three will be having elements less than three all the elements to the right side of three will have elements greater than three and like three and here the limit is seven so less than seven and greater than three in this way bht works pretty simple it is and now uh, what is bht okay all right so bht is correct clear so first approach which is coming in my mind is very very simple if you know what is in order traversal of a binary tree i think everyone knows what is in order traversal in order traversal is basically left then root and then right okay left root and right all right so what i'm going to do i'm going to get the in order traversal of this bht so let's see in order traversal will be something like two three four and then seven eight nine okay all right this is the in order traversal now you will see this see this is a sorted array you will see this is a sorted array so yes in order traversal of a bht is always a sorted array okay is always a sorted array so this is a sorted array now i have to check if there exist two elements whose sum is equal to target so i have i will take one pointer here and i will put one pointer here and i will keep on checking like target is 12 first time my sum will be something like 2 and 9 which is less 2 and 9 is 11 which is less than 12 so in that case i have to increment my sum so i will increase my initial pointer again to 3 so again 9 3 12 yes i got a pair i will simply return true and in the in that case in that case in various cases when we will not get any sum i will return false so now i have already explained you in one video how to get check if a pair is present with given sum or not when on an array you can check that video so this is the first solution this is the first solution now what is the time complexity of it time complexity is basically first of all i'm traversing the whole array once whole binary tree binary search tree once time complexity is big of n and after that i am again traversing the whole binary search tree uh, this array list and again checking so it will be big o of n plus big o of n which will be equal to big o of n time complexity of this approach is big o of n and space complexity is also big o of n because i am storing all the elements to one array list okay so time complexity big o of n space complexity big o of n all right great so i think the first solution will be very very clear to you and you will try to code it as well okay all right now let's move on to the second approach what is the second approach let's quickly move on to one note where it will be i can explain you in a better way okay something like this all right so now here let's suppose my target is let's say 10 target is 10 okay so first approach which is which is clear that we will simply get the in order traversal of this bht into one array and then check if the pair exists with a given sum in this array or not okay second thing is what i will do here i will use a hash set i will simply use a hash set okay so first of all again i will do the in order traversal first thing first two i will get two so i will check in my hash set if 10 which is target 
minus 2 which is 8 8 is present no 8 is not present okay so i will simply add in my set i will add 2 okay and again in in order to so now i get 3 so again i will check 3 10 10 minus 3 target minus current element 7 7 is present in has set no add 3 okay 3 is added after that 4 so again 10 minus 4 which is equal to 6 6 is present no till now 6 is not present okay so add the current element 4 after that i get 5 so again 5 and now uh, is there any other 5 present in target uh, like target minus 5 5 is present no 5 is not present only one node of 5 is present okay so again 5 is added after that i get 6 so is target minus current node 10 minus 6 is present in this set yes it is present so we will simply return true in this way we will simply iterate over all the elements one by one if target minus that element is present return true if it is not present add the current element to the set and move further so two things this is also this is a solution which is with set and in order traversal and i hope it will be very very clear to you it will be very very clear to you. okay so two solutions we have discussed let's think of the next solution which is uh, without extra space which is without any extra space so target is equal to 10 uh, guys i hope you are with me till this point and everything is becoming clear to you two solutions i have told whose uh, whose code you will implement yourself and this is third solution okay all right so what i'm going to do here now is if you know how can we search an element in bht it is very easy to search an element in bht okay all right so what i'm going to do i'm going to i trade over this whole array whole binary tree binary search tree one by one and suppose now i get two so what i'm going to do i will first of all in order traversal will be done there i get two then what i'm going to do i'm going to check is 10 minus 2 is present in this bht or not is 10 minus 2 present in this bht or not okay 10 minus 2 is equal to 8 again i will simply start from 5 so look i have to search for 8 so 8 will or if it will be present it will be present in the right side and if it is not present so not present okay so 8 i will check in 8 again i get to 6 so for this 6 also 8 will be present in the right side so i go to right side 7 for this 7 again it will be present in the right side so again i go here i get null when i get null it means 8 is not present so leave this 2 2 cannot be a pair now again i will do the same thing with 3 3 10 minus 3 7 7 is present in this binary tree or not let's quickly undo this 7 so 7 is present first of all 5 7 will be in the right side okay 6 7 will be in the right side okay 7 yes 7 is present so return true okay this is our next approach similarly if it was let's suppose 19 or it was suppose 3 suppose my target is 3 okay so current element is 2 i will again check from root if target which is 3 minus 2 1 1 is present in this binary tree or not if 1 is present in the binary tree or not so start from 5 1 will be present in the left subtree here again 3 1 will be present in the left subtree again 2 1 will be present in the left subtree because it is less than current element 2 so again now here i get null which means 1 is not present which means there is no one i cannot form a pair with 2 such that its sum is equal to 3 okay so in this way we will keep on doing and we will get our answer true or false all right i hope all the three solutions will be very very clear to you and now i will be writing the code of it but before that if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please subscribe the channel because i'm uploading daily videos at midnight so that whenever you want to learn you can learn and uh, yeah if you have loved the explanation till this point three approaches please subscribe the channel comment down how was the explanation now let's quickly move on to the code section so i'm going to write the code of the third approach because i'm not using any extra space there although a time complexity is a bit high okay so all the three solutions are really good okay so first of all if my root is equal to null it means uh, it is not present i will simply return false okay otherwise i'm going to make a function which will be solve okay and here i'm going to pass few things first one is my root second one is my root third one is my target now you will be thinking why i am passing this root two times i will check i will explain please wait so again this boolean solve is expecting node root something like this 
okay all right so again here i'm going to do same thing node root and this is node current okay all right so uh wait 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 i'm going to check if i'm going to do some like i this node root will always be node root and this current root will keep on changing okay this current root will keep on changing okay so what i'm going to do first of all if my current is equal to null it means your current is equal to null it means it there cannot be a pair so i will simply return false okay otherwise what i'm going to do i'm going to find i'm going to write a function find node find node is a function it will going to check what it will going to check target uh you need to pass root only and target minus current dot data because look suppose i'm at seven so what i'm going to do i'm going to pass key our target is 12 minus 7 5 so is 5 is 5 percent uh, is 5 percent in this binary tree or not is 5 percent in this binary tree or not if yes if yes what we i'm going to do i'm going to simply return true so i will simply return true okay otherwise if it is not present now i have to move to either left or right so like seven with seven we cannot form a pair so i will check with the left subtree and right subtree again recursively so for that i'm going to again do return solve function this root will be same as i've told current dot left comma target or or uh, right like left is done now i'm going to do for the right so current dot right okay so in this way we are going to check now i just have to implement this find a node function which is very very easy boolean find node and here i'm going to get two things first one is my node root and second one is my target in target target is basically which what i'm going to search in this binary tree binary search tree okay so if my root is equal to null it means this target is not present so simply return false okay otherwise if root dot data is equal to target is equal to target it means this target is present in this root i will simply return true okay otherwise look if i have to search 9 i am currently at i am currently at 7 i have to search 9 so it will be present in the left subtree if i have to search suppose let's say 4 or 5 it will be present in the left subtree okay all right i hope this will be clear so i have just to direct in that way so if root dot data is greater than target it means i have to check in the left subtree because current root dot data is greater so simply return find node again call this find node recursively but this time i'm going to call it for the left side and target okay otherwise i'm going to check for the right side so let's do something like node dot right okay all right so this is what it is i hope i have already explained it in very very detail let's try to compile this once to check if it is getting accepted or not if it is if i'm done any mistake or not i can see one issue like although it's getting compiled i can see one issue which is what guys look suppose my target is 12 suppose what my target is 12 okay my current element is six my current element is six okay so what i'm going to do i will come here current is uh, my current is six if find a node i'm going to do what target minus current dot data 12 minus 12 minus six so i will check is six present in this yes six is present but does it mean the pair is present no because six is present only once so if target is 12 current node is six so i am again going to search six which uh, which six is already which will be present but it is it is not duplicate we have to check here if a pair can be found or not okay pair means different nodes i hope you guys are getting my point so i have to check one more thing i have to pass my current node as well and i will receive it here so yeah look root dot data is equal to target and and my root should not be equal to current 
in that case i am going to return true it means yeah if i am searching for 6 that 6 and target is 12 so that 6 will be present once but i have to check here if it is duplicate or not in that way i have to check i hope you guys are getting so simply what i have done here i am going to simply add one more current and here also i'm going to add current let's try to submit it and i hope it will be getting accepted so this code is a bit tricky and i'm not using any extra space here that's why i wanted to explain it okay it is getting accepted now let's see the time complexity of it so time complexity of this approach is n log n time complexity is n log n why because for i'm iterating over all the nodes one by one okay so n time and for each node i'm going to search target minus current dot data so this searching will take height of log n or we can say height of binary tree that much time it will take to search so total time is n log n okay and space complexity i'm not using any extra space there but i'm using recursion which will take some stack memory so that will be also height of the binary tree okay so this is time and space complexity and i've already accept the our code is already accepted so yeah that was it for today i hope you have absolutely loved the approaches to all the three approaches so please subscribe the channel like the video comment down how was the explanation and now i'm going to be very regular so yeah that was it for today i'm going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and bye